Hi everyone. It is 7 o'clock in the morning, which is too early for me, and I did not sleep whatsoever because I was anticipating the surgery. It's about an hour away, so we're driving now, hoping it goes as smoothly as possible, and I'm going to keep you guys updated. Hey, I was up all night last night, and for some reason, today I actually have more energy, so I'm starting to think that I found the secret. Maybe the key to having energy is not sleeping all night. Sitting here waiting, the doctor's late, so now we just have to wait. <laughs> I've been a little bit worried about the effect that the anesthesia is going to have on my pots. I'm hoping my blood pressure doesn't drop and that it stays stable and that everything's okay. But I will let you guys know how it goes. If any of you have had surgeries, post in the comments and let me know what your experience was. While we're waiting, we're trying to determine whether we like my dad's jacket. What do you guys think? She doesn't like the color. Hi guys, so I'm really nauseous right now. I'm still waiting to get surgery. I've got my IV line started. And now I'm basically just waiting, but I just do not feel good. I feel kind of lightheaded and, and dizzy, but it's probably from getting the IV, which I usually do okay with, but I think it's a combination of that and not eating. So I just want to get this done and over with at this point. I was checking my blood pressure and then the nurse came in and she thought I was crazy for checking my own blood pressure. But if she had POTS, she would understand it. So I'm really glad that I'm at least finally getting IV fluid. It's exciting because the IV fluid makes me feel so much better. That's what it took getting surgery to actually get some fluids. Not give me painkillers. What do they do? They give me painkillers because they don't understand to sleep. You think I, I would get a date if I always look like that? I can't laugh. It hurts too much to laugh. I feel almost like when I first got diagnosed with POTS, which is a really scary thought. I've just... I'm exhausted and I can't even get up. It's just terrible. I'm so weak. Well, since my blood pressure is really low, I'm trying to eat a little salt in her Gatorade to hopefully bring it back up. Well, you guys will be happy to know that my blood pressure is up and rising. It looks like the salt did the trick. I guess one good thing about this is it really reminds me and shows me just how how good I'm doing on a daily basis and how much I have to be grateful for. Guys, my mom bought me a present and it is the strangest thing I have ever seen in my life. Someone who cares very much for you wants you to feel better. So I'm sending you some bear hugs. Is this like some insane? some things to remember that don't need an envelope or postage because I'm sending them heart to heart. Is I'm this? sending you tons of hugs. I want you to see the best in you because that's the only picture I want to have of you. I can't talk. Well, guys, it's day two. Well, it's day five of sinus surgery recovery. I've just been suffering. I've been having the headaches again, and I can't breathe through my nose whatsoever. So I have to constantly breathe through my mouth, which gives me a sore throat, which makes me even more miserable, which gives me a bigger headache. We drive by this like all the time since I was a little girl when we come this way. And my father always says it looks like my brother because my brother's like 6'3". <laughs> and then my mom gets mad and says it looks nothing like him. I'm just trying to find little things to laugh about because I am kind of miserable. Just sneezed three times. It was horrible. Now listen here, everyone. 
do not feel good. I have a pounding headache. I have low blood pressure. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. But I am going to go in this restaurant right now. <laughs> you guys see this restaurant? I'm gonna go in there and I'm going to tell them that this hamburger right here <laughs> was the best hamburger I've ever eaten in my entire life. Now, could that be because I don't normally eat junk food? I haven't had one in a while? Possibly, but I think this restaurant is fabulous. We are leaving from my third post-op visit and the doctor says everything looks good. The headache was less today, so I'm hoping that it stays that way. It's just a lot of driving and a lot of doctor's appointments and a lot of boredom, really. My mother is packing to move. You see all her things in the back seat. And I can't lay down, and I, I think it's really rude that she would let a POTS patient be in her car and not allow them to lay flat. Look at this. I'm trying to prop up my legs and it's not even making a difference. Have you guys ever just gotten to the point where you just need your head to be like flat down? That's where I am right now and I'm about to lay <laughs> like this. Am I the only person in the world who lays like this? <laughs> this, if I could just walk around like this, I would feel really good. I think people driving by think I'm insane. I really don't care. That's the well, thing about. I get to toll. <laughs>